Obviously. Okay, let me walk you to your car then. My car is unavailable today. Oh, okay. Let me drop you off there. No, don't worry. It's it's fine. My, I'm trying to get drop a very... me. Let me drop you. How dare you? How shameless can you be? Michael, what's the problem? So you don't bring me into the same house that we share? Michael, come on, I, 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 what are you accusing me of? Did he sleep with you? What? You! No! What is wrong with you? He, he came, he, he was just che checking on me. I, he was just being caring. I, I, and I slept off, I, I passed out. Will you shut up and stop sending me that bullshit lie? You think I don't see through you? You pass out my, my, my foot. Can you stop spewing and saying all this? Um, you, 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 you portray this pretentious attitude of a good girl that, that you're not. I see through you and I know you very well. So you just stop doing that bullshit whenever you're around me. And now you listen. It isn't the first or last time I will see him in this house or anywhere around you. If it happens again, I swear I'll skin your life. And you won't be left out. Shit. Hey baby, how are you? I finally found us a perfect wedding planner. Gucci wedding planner, do you like that one? Mm -mm. I'm not sure they would be able to give me what I want. And I heard this one is the best in the country. Do you like her? Whatever you say, as long <laughs> as it makes you happy. Yeah, well, thank So when you. are you contacting this person? She's already on her way here. She's the one, Mommy. Let me get it. You don't, you don't waste time at all. God, I'm not ready hey. for this. Hey, welcome. She looks beautiful. I hope you didn't find the beauty got put in here. No. You're welcome. Thanks. Greg. Adora. Yes. She too look like you've seen the ghost. Do you two know each other? Yes, um actually yeah. we we met at a friend's wedding. It's a friend's wedding. Oh yes. Yeah. I was trying. <laughs> Yes, and, and well, it was a long time ago. Yeah, she, she yes. was the wedding planner there as well. Yes. And she did a great job, you know. Fantastic job you did. Thank you so much. Yeah, you should hire her. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. So, can we begin? Yes, please. I'm so excited to meet you. He's healthy, he's alive. Guess what? He's getting married. Greg is getting married. This is unbelievable. Men will steal all your wife. All these years, I just waited for answers. I waited for this guy, and then now I have my answers. What did I do wrong? No, please tell me, where did I do, what did I do wrong? We talked about getting married. We talked about our future. We spoke about the future. And then he did this to me, why? I don't write it's fine, just calm down. I just want answers. That's all, I need answers. Why did he do what he did to me? Why? I, I need my answers and I will get my answers. It's, it's fine, Adora. She honestly think I'm very stupid, right? Greg. What? 
what is going on between you and the wedding planner. And do not give me that cock and bull story of you being on the bed together. Because me, it's a life on the pit of hell. But that's the truth. What do you want me to say? I met her at an event. That's all. You're lying through your teeth, Greg. I don't believe you. The shock on your face when you saw her. And the way both of you look at each other as if you've seen a ghost. She wouldn't mm. tell me there is nothing going on between you two. I'm not gonna do this with you. I honestly I'm not gonna do Greg, this. Greg, I'm with still you. talking to you. You are not talking, you are nagging. And I can't, you know, I don't like you being nagging. I don't like it. Greg, I'm talking to you! Why did you abandon me? No calls, no text. You just left. I called you. You did? Yes. Really? I tried calling you several times. Of course. You just never went through. How convenient. I don't know, I'm serious. I even searched for you on social media. Mm. I sent you messages. No response. None. Even when I got back, I went straight to your house. in that car for God to save them, my life. But that house held too many memories and I couldn't bear the pain so I left. I didn't do this. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's all in the past now. I never forgot about you. Not for once. All those years in America, I just kept thinking, what could have happened to you? Why didn't I hear from you? What was wrong? And then, when I went to your house when I was leaving, Said something to me that I almost lost my mind. You died trying to abort our child. What? Wait, what? I'm like, why? At some point, I was mad. Why would you try to do that? What? Why would you abort our child? It's nonsense. Why would I abort our child? My child? lied to you and I honestly don't know why she would do that. That child was the one thing that kept me going in your absence. It was the only memory I had of you. Why 
could I kill my own child? I lost that child in the accident. It's all in the past. You're getting married now. And it's my duty to plan your wedding. Where are you coming from? And why haven't you been taking my calls? Because my phone was not with me. Really? You didn't see my calls? My phone wasn't with me now. Greg, who have you been with? You're cheating on me, oh, right? Oh my lord, I am exhausted. I need to rest, please. Let's not do this now. Huh? Really? Yeah. You're going away, Greg. I'm talking to you. Look, there's a lot on my mind. Please, come on, don't do this. Don't nag me now, please. I need an explanation to everything. Everything! Like, where you're coming from right now, and who you've been with. I don't like it when you nag. It frustrates me. Please. I'm nagging. <laughs> Greg, just call me now. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. What about the money I asked? I don't have any money. I'm, I'm still trying to gather the funds for the rent. So I'm sorry, I, I don't have any extra cash. Oh my god! I'm afraid it's okay again. I can't. I can't, please, Felix, okay. Felix, right again. No problem. You understand? Yes, Michael, you're right. You're giving me the money at the end of today. No problem. No, because how do you explain Dora becoming a wedding planner from nowhere? The universe is clearly telling you something. Mm -mm. The universe is not telling you anything. See, you better wake up from this your dream and face reality. No, 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 Baba, look at it. See, I get the best wedding planner. The best. Uh -huh. Or maybe one of the best. Okay, fix him. Annabelle says, no, I don't like her. For one reason or the other, very flimsy excuses. And next thing, okay, who do you want? Dora comes to my house, to my doorstep. Check it now. See, that is the more reason. That even goes to prove that Dora is not for you. Yes, Dora is not for you. Okay. This is someone I've been looking for for how long? I've been searching for her. See, if Dora was for you, when you were searching everywhere for her, why did you not see her? Why is it now that you're about to get married that she, she just shows up? No, 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 no. See, me and Dora were so in love. We're already planning our future together. See, Greg, 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 you better wake up. See, just wake up from this, your fantasy, I'll be dream of what, what should I even call it? What matters is you're getting married very soon. Your wedding is around the corner. The only thing you should be talking about now is your wedding. Do you understand? She hasn't changed, man. Don't focus on your wedding. Your wedding is around the corner. <laughs> I'm 
that she liked it. <laughs> yeah. You're very good with what you do. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I want this wedding to be the best. I'll do my best. Okay. I know you would. <laughs> you know, every girl's dream is to have that perfect wedding with the love of their life. I right? know. Yeah. <laughs> I never believed this day would come. When I first met Greg, I didn't like him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and um, he was a very sad, grumpy man. Like one who just got up from a heartbreak. He only kept to himself and talked when necessary. I don't believe this would, would work. But here we are, hmm. about to be man and wife. <laughs> and I'm so excited and lucky to call him mine. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'll leave you to do your job. Yes, I'll be on my way now. Well done. Thank you so much. Bye. I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the You're hospitality. Welcome. All right, ma'am. Okay. Bye. Dora. Hey. Hi. Oh, I didn't know you came here. Well, you're leaving already? Obviously. <laughs> okay, let me walk you to your car then. My car is unavailable today. Oh, okay. Let me drop you off then. No, don't worry. It's, it's fine. My, I'm I trying to get drop away. You. Let me drop you. Thank you so much. What happened to your hand? Nothing. Nothing. It's just a minor domestic accident. Oh, so sorry. You have to be careful. <laughs> just so you know, I'm your wedding planner. And nothing is going to happen between us. Just so we're clear. Thank you for the ride. I'm not suffering, I'm just doing my job. Yeah, I know, you can always quit if you don't want these people around. I'm a professional. I won't just quit, I know what I'm doing. I know you are. But having him around will only reopen old wounds. I'm doing just fine. 
Because then how do you breathe around him? I breathe just fine. Oh my goodness, my girls are ready. <laughs> Are you even listening to me? Hmm? Ah, great. What did you say? Eh, I need your help. I can't do this alone. Yeah, you were saying your what? I have 70 people on my guest list. How many are you expecting? It's my parents and my siblings. You can't be serious. So what about your your friends, relative, your colleague, everybody? Are they not coming? I mean, everyone has been anticipating this wedding. Just look at my guest list. Seventy. I'm so excited. You're saying I really care about this wedding. What did you say? I said I'll follow your lead, whatever you decide out there. He's just a, a client. He's a client. Oh, you shut up! You liar! No lying. He's a, he's a client. I'm planning his wedding. And you expect, you, you expect me to buy that lie? This is what you do all the time. You probably sleep with different men. And you come and you give me the excuses of, of wedding planning and all of that bullshit. Why do you just always think of the worst thing about me? And why won't I think of the worst things about you? Okay, explain it to me. So what does this picture have to do with your wedding planning? With the way you were staring at him lustfully. Explain it. You've slept with him, right? The same way you've slept with different men. All in the name of wedding planning. What is wrong with you? I can't go. I... How dare you? You did please. Thank you, please. Okay, Thank you, please, please. I need you while you talk and fool you talk. Talk about me, I swear how I am calling it. I'm sorry, I please. I'm sorry. Um... You make me look so stupid. How did I go wrong? Annabelle. It's not like that. I was just stressed after this. And see, look. This is important. I need to take this. What in our conversation? Just give me a second. Greg! I'll come with you. What's going on over there? Dora, are you crying? Calm down, talk to me. What's wrong? Okay, we can talk about this, all right? You know what? 
I'm on my way to you. Just calm down. I'll be with you. What's going on? Something urgent just came up. I need to. Why are you such a hurry? Look, Craig, what is going on? It's an emergency. I need to go. I need to go for real. And you can't even finish before you, pick you go. This up. You pick this up when I come back. What a beautiful way of apologizing to your wife. I can't continue. I can't plan your wedding. I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. I'm mentally stressed. I, yeah. I, I, I can't keep trying to fix things and everything just Dora. goes crazy. <sighs> I can't. I need to just drop it. My mental health. I'm, I'm losing my mind. Every day I have migraines. I... <sighs> hey, hey. <sighs> Your body is burning. Do you have do you have a um, like a first aid kit in your house? Get you water. Relax, dog. back home and act as if nothing happened. Take your call, Greg. I'm so sorry to call you by this time of the night. It's just that I want to check up on my husband. Dr. Greg, it's no, he's not home yet. And he's not even taking up his call. Please, is he with you? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is the Kogra concert? Oh, okay. Hope it's not what I'm thinking, Greg. Hope it's not what I'm thinking. Too comfortable. 
please you need to go okay but you need to take a lot of water so you stay hydrated thank you and eat Adora! 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 Yes! Uh -uh. Calm down! What's the problem? You idiot! Uh -uh. How dare you! How shameless can you be? Michael, what's the problem? So you now bring men into the same house that we share? Michael, come on, I, 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 what are you accusing me of? Did he sleep with you? What? You no! Have... What is wrong with you? He... He came, he, he was just che checking on me. I, he was just being caring. I, I, and I slept off, I, I passed out. Will you shut up and stop sending me that bullshit lie? You think I don't see through you? You pass out my, my, my foot. Can you stop spewing and sending all this? Um, you, 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 you portray this pretentious attitude of a good girl that, that you're not. I see through you and I know you very well. So you just stop doing that bullshit whenever you're around me. And now you listen. This is the first and last time I will see him in this house or anywhere around you. If it happens again, I swear I will skin your life. And you won't be left out. Shameless. You don't bring men into my own house or into the house I will share. The audacity to make us any talks and attacks. If you sell that lie to other people that you sell it to and you think I've come, I'm gonna buy it, I can buy it. Nonsense. And there goes His Royal Highness. Babe, good morning. And where are you coming from? Work. Where else are you coming from? Work. Is she coming from work? Oh, he's coming from work. Which work you want to ask? Because when you refused taking your calls, I called your friend, who confirmed you not with him. I called your office, and I was told she will not miss it. What are you doing? Stop. Just take a good look at the time you're coming home. Which man about to be married stays out all night? Hey, Greg. Annabelle, I am not cheating on you. I had a patient that had a crisis. I had to go to his house. As his family doctor, I had to stay with him and make sure he feels better. He couldn't even make it to the hospital. Was I supposed to be calling you at that time? Or hmm. picking my calls? You don't think I'm stupid, right? I'm stressed. I don't have time for this. Please, let's not do this. Just take it easy. I'm tired. I'm stressed. This man thinks I'm stupid. <laughs> Adora, please just get up. Pack your things. You're leaving this house. You're coming to my house right now. For how long will I run from my own house that I pay for? What are you talking about? This man... Oh, you want him to kill you first. Is that what you want? He will never change. This relationship is abusive. Michael will never change. Leaving my house is not the solution. Then leave him alone. Yes, leave him alone. But you know it's not that easy. You sound like it's that easy. I owe this guy. You know this thing now. You know this gist. If not for Michael's presence at that scene, I would have died. He gave me his blood. His blood run. run in my... Okay, continue. I've heard that a million and one times. I mean, that's enough reason. I can't just leave him. I owe him my you life. You owe him nothing. You don't owe him anything. What do you owe him? What? My life. You don't owe him your life. You've done everything for him. You fed him. You gave him a roof over his head. What more do you want? What else do you want to do for him? You know, I... I blame Emeka. Honestly, I blame her. 
because if Greg had found me a little sooner, maybe things would have been different. Nika told him I was dead. Okay, in order to regain your things, I don't think you can leave this man around. If you don't do something, I will do. In fact, I'm going to do it myself. You have to do something about him. Started. Craig has changed. I can't even wrap my hand around what the problem is. You know how these men are. I need to seek you now. What exactly is going on? Please be. He returns when you do it. Always absent. We can no longer have our usual discussions anymore because he's always lost in thought. Adora, I think my husband is seeing another woman, and that's why I need it to be very fast. Very fast. I'm so sorry to hear this. I, well, I'm surprised. I think Greg is kind. He's gentle. How do you know he's kind? I'm gentle. No, no, no. I mean, I I'm saying you should give him some time. You know, maybe he would just give him some time to show you his kindness. He seems kind. You know what? Let's just focus on the wedding. I have come up with a few ideas for your bridal shower. guys need to get their suits ready. They've been asking what color to go for. Mm, mm, mm. I'll respond. I'll respond. What, what is happening, Greg? You act like you're not even concerned about this. It's your wedding, bro. You don't have to allow her to do everything. No, no. See, this is Dora. It's even making me confused. You know, every time we have meetings together and everything, I'm just... Old times. Come off it, bro. Come off it. See, you're a married man. I, I mean, I, because you never do traditional marriage. She that was also stupid for them to get on Thursday and Friday. Bro, at this point, it doesn't really matter. She's already living with you. The groomsmen are ready. Her bridal train is ready. Just go ahead and pick the color for the suit. I'm happy deciding with the wedding planner, Sha. Who? Dora. She's the wedding planner now. Just make sure it's strictly business. I hear you. She's my wedding planner, so keep it. Make sure it's strictly business. Please re reply them on that group chat, please. I'll reply now. I got your own two months. Just no, reply now. Just send a message to the group now. happened to my friend, eh? Even though she's an orphan, you would have known that she has a sister. Shameless thing. Blood would have flown to... 
I'm talking to you. You're not even feeling remorseful for what you did. Useless man, you're very useless. Parasites! You're a very big, fat, round parasite. That is who you are. Nonsense. Hmm? You don't have respect at all. You come into my house. Your what? Me. Your what? Your house. Ooh, your house. Adora's house. It is Adora's house, it's not your house. See him swelling up. Oh, yeah, beat me now. Beat me. It is Adora's house. Hey! You say it. Hey! You, you try him again. You wanted to do what? You wanted to punch me. Punch me. Punch me. Punch me. See him swelling up. Like a expired pack. Beat me! Punch me! Try it! Use less things, quarter. You still have mouth to talk. You're drinking somebody's uh, 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 alcohol. You can't even buy, you can't even afford anything. Nothing you can afford. If you try me, eh, somebody will die here between both of us. And it is you that will go to the mortuary. Let's bet. Nonsense. You're looking at me. You're looking at me. Try this with me. You are lucky I'm not Adora. I would have pierced the into that thing. I will drag it out and bring everything out. Hold it for you. Sense. See, it's not by height, though. It's not by height. I will. Will... See, because she has taller than me. Blood will flow here now. You will know it's not by height. You are not here, not Adora. You are very lucky, not Adora. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about it. Think about it for a second. <laughs> it's okay, sorry. Easy. easy. That's not so funny. Uh, there's, there's something uh, she was talking about. It's all this wedding jitters and yeah, stuff like that. Really? <laughs> yes, so I've come up with a template. I like this one. Yes. Honey. Just like Color. Yeah. It's fine. Um, Greg, you haven't picked a color. Why do I need to pick one right here? You're the fool. You speak for me already. <laughs> <laughs> I think green would do. Green. Mm -mm. Dora, what do you think? Just pick a color. Green would do. Mm -mm. What do you think? You just pick for me. Why you suggested green? Yeah, it, we already have too much of it. How about something colorful? White. Like all white. All white party. It's not an angel's party, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> but just, oh, okay, okay, I mean, you're the pro. But I just think that you know, me looking handsome and white would just be... <laughs> I don't like white. I want to be the only one on white. Pro. Um, you know, I, maybe we shouldn't do that. I mean, but then let's still do it. Okay, whatever you say. Ever done to you? Hmm? Please tell me what have I done to you, Michael? What? Tell me, please. Well, that's a very rude way to welcome me, you know. What are you talking about? I don't really know. What are all these debits? Huh? Why are there all these debits? Because I know it's you. So please tell me, what have I done to you? What's wrong with you is that it's that why you're raising your voice. Now, why are you feeling you talk like that? 
because I you spent your money and that's why you have to talk to me anyway you like. Take your rubbish ATM card. How much did I even is, spend? This is my work you're toying with. What did you use the money for? Tell me, did you buy something for the house? Did you pay for something important? Why are you raising your voice actually? Why are you bring noisy because I spent your money? What is the word with you? Michael. How much I even spent for the money? Where are you you talk anyhow? Michael, these are my clients. You have just... What do you expect me to tell them? You know you should be happy that I actually spent your money. How much is there? Then you feel like they talk to you, they talk to me that way. You're like, see, take your time. I beg you, car rubbish, Jerry, I beg. And don't talk to me anyhow like that again because I spent your money. Take your card. How much? You should be telling me welcome or thanking me and not raising your voice and talking to me anyhow. Scream so the entire neighborhood will hear your voice because I spent your money. She's the one all along. What are you even saying? We were just having a very good conversation. She'll look at my face and call me blind. Greg, I'm not talking about the conversation. Then I'm talking about the way you were looking at her romantically and the way you were all flirting with her in my presence. Yes. No. Have you no shame? Babe, can you calm down? Hmm? Do you think I'll cheat on you? <laughs> well, you don't trust me anymore. I don't. To change on daily. Because you're overthinking. You calm down now. Yes. You know you're actually cuter when you're angry. Hmm? Do you want to stay? You want to stay angry? Do you, do you <laughs> Who is laughing with you? Leave me. <laughs> well, babe, you know. Stay angry now. Mom, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Oh my mom. <laughs> Who is laughing with you? Beg. You want to laugh with me? <laughs> can never make sense. How can someone be so cruel, inconsiderate, heartless? He wiped my account. Everything. Every penny my clients have deposited towards the cost of their wedding, gone. Great deposit, gone. How do I explain this? I don't, I don't understand. Like, you gave me the password to your debit card. How? 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 Where is he now? You can't do anything. I can do something because I'll get that idiot arrested. Adora, where is he? I didn't ask you to do anything. Just leave him alone. What is going on? What's going on here? Adora, you're protecting this man. He, like, he practically turned you into a punching bag. He steals from you, and you're still protecting him. It's what did he do for you? It's my mess. Oh, I will fix it. I'm just talking to you as a friend. I didn't say you should do anything. She's not even taking off her calls. No, we turned them. Who's that? Your wedding planner. <laughs> now she's my wedding planner. She, she could be busy now. Have you thought about that? Busy that she cannot even return her calls. Hmm? Hmm. Let it not be what I'm thinking, no. And what are you thinking? <laughs> Give the girl a break, I beg. Has she ever disappointed you before? Have you called her and she didn't pick up before? So it could be anything. You know, she could be indisposed. She could actually be busy. Think about that now. You're just complaining. So you're actually calling me a nag, right? <laughs> wow. Maybe she's ashamed of flirting with my husband. He's very unprofessional. 
that is besides the point. Him? That is besides the point. What I'm saying is, think about other people. It's not always about you. Anything could have happened to them. What if she's sick? Have you thought about that? Be sensitive to other people's feelings now. Wow. It's been your hissing at now. Dude, waiting now. See, but sincerely, Craig, with the way you are going, you get yourself into a very dark place that you may not be able to come up with. We were just catching up on old times, nothing serious. Let's just stray with this whole Adora issue. You have a future right in front of you. And this future is with Annabelle. You understand? I, I don't know. Really, I don't know if I can do this. Like, I feel incomplete without, without Dora. Oh, really? Have you ever considered how your wife will feel? No, have you thought about how she would feel about all this? She's not my wife yet, no. See, bro, sincerely, I can't do this with you. You just need to get your head straight. Get your head straight. That's why I'm telling you, I don't know what to do. Trust me, you do. You know what to do. And you need to do it fast. I lost the five million I deposited. How? Oh, I don't know. I, I just woke up to several debits. I don't even know. I don't know when. I don't know where. I don't know how. I, I don't know who. I just... Did you give your card to someone or something? Well, I... Oh, man. This is four stars. Did you... Did you block your account? Yes, I did. Did you tell the police? No, I... Because if you don't block your account, they'll keep coming back. Yeah, I, 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 blo I blocked it. I just didn't know how to tell you. I... Bro, you should have told me at least. I never be so worried. I'm sorry. I would come tomorrow and I'd, I'd explain things to her. No, oh, that's not necessary. I'll, I'll give you back the money. No, 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 no. Please, I don't need you to give me the money. Dora, it's my mess. I will fix it. I will give you the money. Greg, so... I said no. It's my problem, and I will fix it. I will fix this. Michael, why are you doing this? Like, why do you choose to frustrate a girl who has done nothing but to love you despite your flaws? Why are you doing this? Why are you frustrating this girl? Why? I'm going with you now to do business. You loud mouth that witch. The only time I will leave you is the time you will choose to leave her alone. Oh, yes. You are a shameless thief and a beast. I'm going to ah! your head now until you want the police. You wanted to hit me with this? Michael, try it. You know, this is actually the second time you're trying to do this to me. <laughs> I swear the day you will try it, I swear with my life, the day you will try this, both of us will find out who will first of all go to the hospital. I'm telling you, you're a wicked soul. Like you stole the money a client gave to this girl for her job. Why are you this wicked? Why? What is wrong with you? I don't, I, 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 I didn't take her money. 
So where did you get that narrative from? Tell that to Adora, not me. Keep lying to her. You cannot do that work. You know you don't have to accuse me wrongly. Oh, you think I didn't see you? I saw you at the mall with those girls. Of course, yes, I saw you. The night. Okay, are you serious? You saw me. What do you tell? What do you tell her daughter? I beg, I beg, don't tell her anything, okay? Because she has a lot on her mind right now. And if you tell her it's only going to complicate things and pile up, then I'm not sure we are we're not ready for how to do it. No reason now I'm going to go you have to set to me. Yeah? Don't say you want to go back. Excuse me! I will give you one round, just to go jail and talk. You are so shameless. You want to bribe me to kill my friend? It's not bribe, I'm just giving you two things. Just take the body and I'll leave you. Say to her, please, I have a party in two minutes. What are you doing? You don't chop three miles for one point. No reason I'm not there. What's your problem? What's your problem? Why won't you just stay out of my business? What was this? I told you I will find a way. Why are you coming here to harass him? How? How? How do you want to find a way out? Okay, you want to collect money from the bank. You don't have a collateral. The only thing you have is yourself. To think that that's, that's human being, but I don't want to call you an animal. It's what you have. He tried to bribe me because I saw him with a woman. See? Now it makes sense. See? The only reason he will hide it from me, he will want you to hide it from me, is because he cares. He, he doesn't want to hurt my feelings. I don't know what's going on. What's going on with you? No, I, I, I think that guy is doing something to you that you don't even understand. Listen, I just want peace. I'm tired of fighting. Okay. I spoke to an old friend. I told him about this and he said he was going to give you the money without a collateral. I'll send that to the office. You don't even have to work. I had to do it. I don't want you to look really stupid in front of your ex, your ex and his fiance. Just use the money, fix yourself. Just fix everything. I know you'll be fine. I appreciate you. Okay, I do. But you're pushed on. I am pushed on. It's all right. I cannot stop. I cannot stop. I won't stop. Boy, I'm a mess. Eh? I feel like I'm having internal struggles. I'm about to make the most important decision in my life. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm making the right person, you know? Like, is she the right person for me? I'm not sure anymore, man. I don't know. So, great. I worry about not so. Let me agree. Why are you to Adora? Adora is my first, my first love. Yeah, we've been through stuff together. She was carrying my child. If that accident didn't happen, by now my child would be like, what, five or six? Boy or girl? We've got history together, man. Yeah, I understand all that. But Adora is clearly taking advantage of this situation. Yes. No. <laughs> Adora telling you she lost your money to scammers is a deliberate attempt to no. either steal from you or jeopardize your wedding. Trust no. me. Bro, you don't know her. Adora is a straight and narrow as they come. She doesn't lie. She hasn't changed. She didn't offer that money. She refused. Yeah, I offered her the money back. She refused. If not my Annabelle now, she go down. <laughs> now and I can spend my money oh, on anything. Oh, oh, oh. You're taking this too. <laughs> you're taking this too far. You're getting distracted. See, it was just focus on your wedding. Let's finish this wedding. Hmm? I will not allow you to disgrace me or everybody else. Focus on your wedding. I just feel like I'm rushing things, you know? Maybe I should pull back. Greg, you're not rushing anything. Just focus on your wedding. Focus on Annabelle. Forget Adora. Girl! Bibs! Didn't you tell yes, me you were coming girl. to Nabiya the last time we spoke? Well, thank you. As I started to surprise you. Mm -hmm. Well, as a 
maid of honor that I am, mm-hmm. I decided <laughs> to just surprise you and help you wrap things up. But then, you don't look happy. You look sad. <sighs> What's going on? I'm so happy you're here. Like, I'm already going mad. Mad? Yeah. Why would you be going mad? What's, like, your wedding's in a month and you're already going mad. What's going on, please? Tell me, what's okay, going on? Ma'am. I'm fine. It's just my wedding planner. She hasn't been picking up her calls. And Greg feels I should let her be. Let just her like be? That. Yeah. No, you don't let such people be. Like, why haven't you arrested her already? That's the thing with these people. So unprofessional. And it's annoying. Listen, girl, you really need to do something about this girl. If not, it's going to end up messing everything up for you. Yeah. Um, just that. I think going to the police is really not the right thing to, to do. I mean, the girl seemed nice. She seemed nice. It's not right to go to the police. Babes, listen. The most innocent looking snakes are the most dangerous snakes ever. If you don't do anything to her right, like right away, she's gonna end up messing your wedding up. And by the time you realize it, it's too late. Right. Yes, right. convince you to talk to the police about this. This is such a small matter. And I'm like, what is this now without you telling me? It's not small. This is not small? Yes. It's not small. If you cannot pick up my calls on you, turn them. That girl is a thief. She's not. You don't even know what she's going through. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know if she cannot explain things to me? Amana, you see her? You have no right. No right whatsoever to have done this. That's what I'm telling you. Besides, it's my money. I can decide to get a second wedding planner. And I told you to be patient. Greg, what is going on between you and this lady? Why do you always defend her? I found her. I was the one who brought her to you to be our wedding planner. For God's sake, why do you always take sides with strangers you barely know? I am not taking sides with strangers. What I'm saying to you is, you don't just go around calling people thieves. It's wrong. Then at the end of the day, you'll find out that you're wrong in this whole thing. How would you feel? But, I want to happen to our wedding. It's my mood. We'll find a way around it. We will. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry too for yelling, but then... Police? And that Wendy, I don't know, is she really good for you as a friend? I'm sorry. It's nothing, please. It's nothing. Just sit. Please. I'd rather not talk about it. Dora. You came here for a reason, right? Please, let's. Dora, tell me what's going on. Please. Nothing is going on. Yeah, 
you tell me this now? This is just one of the many things that he does. This guy hates you. He does everything to hurt me. You know, if you ask me why am I still with this guy, I, I don't know. But you know me. I don't know how to double date. He pretended like he was there for me. Stayed with me after the accident at the hospital. Was there day, night. Thought I was a good guy. But I guess I was wrong. So why are you still with him? Nah, this is not you. You, I mean, you've moved on. Why are you still with this guy? Maybe I trigger him. Trigger him and then he hits you. No, 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 quick, 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 please, you don't want to do this. Please. to you I'm fine I've got eyes now look at you Stop. I said I'm fine please you get into I said I'm fine fight. I'm fine Greg please get ready for work Greg did you get into a fight Did you have the guts to bring him to this house? Or oh, you had the guts to make stupid heads of me? You didn't mind, but the grace. about that woman that doesn't sit right with me. Especially the way Greg reacts around her. Sorry, I, I, I really don't get it. Are you... Are you saying that maybe he's having an affair with her? It's just a mere suspicion. I mean, not be right. 
listen girl there's nothing like that okay if you feel or have a hunch that he's cheating on you then girl you have to follow it up because this could be your spirit trying to communicate something to you don't cry me his personal life I'm getting married to this man and I don't even know him enough can you believe he returned home yesterday with his t-shirt torn like someone who just got out from a fight what yes the Greg I know is not a violent person but all of a sudden he fights this morning, he just had his back and left. Not even a word from me. Not even a word. <sighs> I'm just speechless. So, this change started when he met with the wedding planner. You know what? It's fine. It's okay, all right? You were my friend, my best girl. And that means whoever messes with you has me to contend with, okay? So, I've got you, all right? I don't know what to do. I love Greg. I love him. You know I love him, right? I know. I love him. Okay, listen, I know, but it's all right. You'll be fine, okay? I've got you. Just help me talk to Michael, please. He won't come out, he won't talk to me, he won't eat. He's just fixed in that room because he thinks I, I, I sent Greg to beat him up. Greg beat him up, very seriously. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny. Do you know how many painkillers he has taken? Stop. I'm telling you. Okay, I think I need to congratulate Greg. Greg, for what? For giving him the beating of his life. Oh, come on. Tell so, me, so, what happened? That's not important. Shouldn't even be laughing. Talk to him. I'm not. Can you just talk to him? You can beg the for like him. Come on. No. Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Are you expecting me to come in? No. Please come in. Who are you? Maid of honor to the person whose money you stole instead of planning a wedding. What are you talking about? Annabelle! I didn't steal from Annabelle. I would never steal from Annabelle. I know it sounds crazy, but I was defrauded. I would never steal from any client. And you couldn't take any of her calls or return them. She's been worried sick. Then maybe something bad had happened to you. And here you are, living like you're not about to ruin someone's wedding that's in a month. I just thought it was important that I had everything figured out before I approached her. Really? Annabelle is a darling. I would never do anything to hurt her. Well, so you know that. You know she's kind. And that is why you're doing all these things you're doing to her. I'm sorry. We are sorry. Hey. Listen, you have just one week to make everything right. Trust me, you do not want to see me back here again. Because you will not like what I will do. I apologize. Whatever. There you have it. Parents just barge into your house. Huh?
Um. Wait, you don't want me to go in? I'm sorry. Are you hiding me now? Can you not make this difficult, please? I just don't want to make the situation worse. You guys already were in a fight. Like, I don't need to trigger him. Please, I mean, regardless of what happened, he's my man. And I need you to respect him. So I'm the problem now. I'm not saying that, Greg. Please. I just don't oh, want no, to. It's fine. I mean, this is what I came to give you anyway. Here. Yeah. So you can complete the job. Greg, 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 Greg. No, please. go back to him. He's your man, right? He keeps beating you, you keep going back to Greg, him. It's fine. Just... it's fine. Greg, I'm sorry. It's not. Okay. I'll call you. Don't call me. Where's your husband? At the office. Office, huh? <laughs> Let's not be what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? That he is lying, of course. And that your hunch has been right all along. Are you trying to say there's another woman? I'm not trying to say. I know there's another woman. And guess who the woman is? Your wedding planner. Yes. I tracked her down to her place earlier today. We talked. And when we are done talking, I left. When I was about leaving her place, I saw Greg, your Greg, pull up at her gate. I know. He won't do that to me. I got off the phone with Greg before you left and he told me that he won't be coming for lunch because he had an emergency in the office. Really? Yes. <laughs> he lied, obviously. He is having lunch with the other woman instead of you. And guess what? I saw them hug. It wasn't an ordinary hug. There was this familiarity in the hug. Trust me, it wasn't casual. Craig will never do that to me. No, he won't. He won't do that to me. So you don't believe me? No, like you don't believe your friend. Fine. I'll show you. Just hold on, wait. Here. Look at it. Do you recognize the There's even a video. There you go. Oh, wait. I don't know. How did Greg do this to me? How, how would Greg do this to me? It's okay. My my wedding planner. It's babe, babe, babe. hey, 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 hold on, listen. It's fine. It's okay, okay? Listen. Okay? We'll get through it. We'll get through it. And trust me, we're so going to make them pay for this betrayal. Well, it's okay. Just relax. That's enough. I can't do this. You'll be fine. I can't do it's this. Okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay, please. It's alright. Just don't cry. Listen, listen, you'll be fine. Okay, you'll be fine. I'm here for you. I am here for you. It's okay, just stop crying. Alright? And I promise you, we are so going to make them pay for this betrayal. Okay? I can't do this anymore. It's okay. I can't do this anymore. It's alright. I can't do this to me. It's okay. Listen. I saw your boyfriend in the kitchen eating food. Mm. Okay, so why is your face like this? Greg gave me this. 
he was in. Mm -hmm. I didn't let him in because of my call. Six million naira. Placement for the money I lost. So long without support. You will not let this parasite spoil things for you. Because you have to tell him to go. Call Gregory and apologize. He will not pick my call. He needs to pay his way. He left him so much anger. Can you just try, please? Because I don't want what happened to my brother to happen again. I don't trust my brother. How are you? Okay. What's going on with you? Whew. I knew it. I knew there was something with you and that wooden plan. I knew there was something going on between you two. It was right in my face. But I chose not to believe it because of the love I have for you. Hey, How please, could you do this please, to me, Greg? Calm down. I've never cheated on you. Okay, I was at her place. But to give her money to finish the job for the wedding plan. You lie. You a lie? big liar. How is it a lie? So, look at this. Explain this. What were you doing in her house if you have nothing to do with her, Greg? What is this? Is there anything here? There's nothing here. There's something there. Everything is wrong with this. Greg, why are you so wicked? Greg, you're so wicked and insensitive. You're wicked. Greg, after everything I've done for you, you're a dog. A very big one at that. Why are you, why are you talking to me this God way? God will punish you, Greg. God will punish you. Okay, you know what? After everything, this wedding is on hold. What? I don't even know who I'm getting married. The this wedding, you know, Greg. Hey, babe. Please forgive me. Please, I beg you. Please. Find it a place in your heart to actually forgive me. I know I've wronged you. I know this is very difficult for you, but no vex. I beg no reason. I'm mean, anything I don't do. I promise to do right this time around. How many more times do I have to forgive you? Ten? Five? A hundred? Just this once. Just once. I beg, just this once, I beg. I promise you I won't fail you. Please. I beg, no vex, no reason now. I beg. And I love you. I'm done. You're what? Done. I'm done. You're done? Yeah. You're done? How? You can never come with that one now. Why? How can you be done just like that? For what? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it's because of. It's because of that idiot, your ex, right? What's that his stupid name again? Greg. And you think I don't know? I ran a background check on him. And I knew that you'd be sleeping with him. Oh yes, yeah, so you think I didn't know? I knew all along, but I just, I forgave you. I pretended like nothing was happening. And this was the same thing you were doing, sleeping with different men, all in the name of wedding planning. So now tell me actually, what's the difference between you and hookup girls? And you come to tell me you're done just like that. Right. For what? Me. I 
you serious? Dead serious. Hey, come on now. Come on. Come on. Leave my bag. No vex. No vex. Sorry. Michael, get out of my house! You will come along, girl. Guy, I'm putting a hold to everything concerning the wedding. Everything. Call the guys. Why? What happened? Do I know this girl that I'm trying to get married to? Hmm? Okay, yeah, we've been dating for three months, but do I really know her? This is a lifetime commitment. This is what I'm going to get into. Now she's accusing me, always shouting, nagging me. I'm tired. I understand, but uh, you need to come Okay, so recently now she's accusing me of cheating. That I'm cheating on her with Dora. Okay, yeah, Dora, Dora, Dora is my friend. She's an old friend. We dated, fine. Does that mean I'm cheating on her? I, I can't help my friend anymore. But bro, you, you really need to calm down. You, you need to calm down. This is not a matter of calming down. If this one is going to happen, not now. It's not going to happen now. Clearly not now. Um, what about the groups now? Call them, or I'll call them myself and I'll tell them. Always nagging me. What is it? He's so... He's such a manipulator and a liar. <laughs> With the rage I feel right now, I might end up much with him if I see him. No, I won't do that, okay? You won't do that. It's all right. But I can't believe that he ended things with you because of that woman. Like, this is the height of disrespect. Who does that? You know what? It's fine. You can come live with me, all right? For as long as you want, until you're able to get back on your feet. Now, look, look. You didn't do anything wrong. What did I do? Nothing. Okay? Nothing. It's just, it's just unfortunate. All right? Please, do that the same time. Of course you do. You do. It's fine. All right. So is this the only bag you have? Yeah. Are you sure you checked properly to be sure you're leaving nothing behind here? All right, please, let's go. I have to go. Thank you. You're welcome. Whoa, this is heavy. Come on. <laughs> Annabelle. Annabelle, I'm home. Oh. Annabelle. Annabelle, I'm home. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> Alex Alpha. Do you know Annabelle is gone? What do you mean by she's gone? I just came home now. All her things. She's packed everything. She's gone. Yeah, I know I said, okay, wedding on hold, but then why would she just leave? What have I done wrong? What was my offense? 
I, I don't understand, man. I, I don't know. Calm down. I said I will call her. Whatever the case, I know that my conscience is clear. I didn't do anything wrong. I only helped my ex. Yes, she's my ex, but it could have been any other person. I would do the same thing. I would help. I just helped. That's all I did. Bro, I don't know, man. You can call her if you want to call her. Anything you want to do, it's okay. Meet her. I got no response. Annabelle, you really need to reconsider that decision you made. It's not good to make such decisions out of anger. Greg wasn't cheating on you. I can tell you that for, for a fact. He was just helping his ex. He didn't cheat on you. You want to tell me to be brand as big as Adora's she doesn't have a physical office that she only operates online and your friend Craig had the F1 tree to visit her in her house huh um, it was just a humble visit see you really need to fix your relationship you need to you need to fight for your mom. There's nothing to fix, Alice. And even if there was, this revelation has changed everything. I'm done. Honey, you guys are almost getting married. Think of the good times. You guys, you guys are in love. You're just going to throw, throw everything to the wind. There's nothing to talk about, Alex. I and Greg are over. We're done. So, you can leave. Thank you for coming. What are you doing? Oh, you think of what? What are you doing here? Let us talk to the world before. You follow me here. Why not? You think you can just crawl out from the way and you take my woman away from me? After abandoning her for so many years, and to do that without a fight, you must say nothing about lie, lie. Don't you dare bleed on me. Just try and no reason. Don't give me that kind of leg. Where my woman is. And the very she says she did for this house. She's not in her own house. Adora. Adora! Adora! Where do you think you're there? You're shouting. My friend, get out of here. Adora! I'll call security. Back on the fear now. So I'm not worried. I will call security. Get out. You think you're wrong now, right? I'll come for both of you. Come on, trust Get me. out. And I won't, I'll have to do, you think you can just make a fool out of me? Okay, get out. Get out, get out, and don't come back.
if you know how happy I am that you finally made sense with you. At least I don't have to be shouting anymore. <laughs> your prayers have worked. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because you're free. Someone took pictures and sent it to her. What do you want to do? I'm calling her. You, you want to call her? Of course. It's an obvious mistake. Whoa, whoa. You need to call her immediately. Annabelle, hi. Annabelle, I promise you these pictures... Explain what? You this shameless pretender. So you've been sleeping with my husband all along. Get off my phone. Annabelle, who? What happened? She hung up. I told you. Return their money back for them. We need to fix this. How? What do you mean how? I should be fixing their marriage, not ruining it. Just refund their money. It's a mistake. I will fix this. This is not about refund. Do you think there's going to be a wedding after this? You don't listen. Refund them back their I do not want any misconceptions and I'm still waiting for Annabelle to come out. Don't but I appreciate it also if you just henceforth let the communication go through your wife to be, please. Dora. You're still very nice. And naive. Remember how we met in school? <laughs> I needed to print my assignments and I asked you for help. You gave me your last card. Starving for the rest of the week. Listen, I'm not here to chit chat. Would you kindly get Annabelle out? You're still very nice. And I see how you don't want to hurt her. But she left you. She left you? Why? Why? Please don't tell me it's because of me. Listen, I, I, will, I can't. Why? Listen, Dora. She needs to know that there's nothing. Been. Greg, Greg, please, I cannot be the cause of another woman's pain. Ever since you walked in through this house, everything changed. Jesus. Everything changed. It's always been you. You've always been by my side. This is not right. Yeah, this happened, but then, do I regret it? No. I don't know what you think. Dora. Dora. Yeah, I presume you all the famous Annabelle, Greg's fiance. His ex. Oh. I have nothing to do with that guy anymore. Mm, I see. So what do you want? Go straight to the point and I'll have time. Do you want to that? That bitch that ruined my life. I don't want to hear her name. You know, she was mine. Until that, I don't know, whatever it is, you were calling your ex or whatever it is. Until you came into her house and even made her pray fast. Why are you telling me all this? Honestly, I'm not interested. Mm. 
And why do you still run after her? I mean, you're hot. And I guess women would be tripping for you. You? You think I'm hot? Yes, you are. You have my number, right? Yeah. Why don't you call me? I will see how it goes. Mm, I love your single thoughts. Yeah. I have a knack for bad boys. Mm. And you look like one. Are you? How about when I call you? When you link up, you get to find out who I am. That sounds great. But Greg, you know this life is very funny. Huh? A while ago, we were planning your wedding, thinking of how to shut the city down. <laughs> but now, here we are. No wedding. That's what it is, man. Um, have you tried getting in touch with Annabelle? At, at least to beg her? Nope. I'm gonna beg her for anything. Um, so what's your plan? Plan is to bring the woman that I love into this house. And um, what if she doesn't want you? We'll see. This guy. Very funny. So are you saying I'm always squeezing my face? No, not that, but you see this one is coming from the inside. Okay, now you're just exaggerating. I'm not, I, I'm not, you are. See how, like, like you look really beautiful when you smile. <laughs> <laughs> this girl. But it's true. Oh my God, I'm just, I can't believe it. I know, this is everyone will be happy. What is going on? You've been crying since I got in here. <laughs> what? My girls, I've squandered my money. All my expensive clothes and jewelry pieces took everything. Jeez, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> like, how? <laughs> he wiped everything in my bank account and he even took all my dollars. My God, he's gone. He's gone. He's vanished. My guy is vanished. Jeez. Jeez. Oh my gosh. What do I do? What? What do we do? All my life savings, everything I've worked out for. Have you tried calling him? But his phones are switched off. Oh my goodness. Oh no, 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 no. Like, I warned you. I really did. I warned you about this guy, but you wouldn't listen. No, he's gone. Everything I've worked hard for. <gasps> everything on my life savings. Everything. What do we do? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What do we do? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't you know. know what? You know what? He couldn't have gone that far. Okay? Okay? We'll track him down. I'll get your stuff back. Alright? Did you get me? I can't make it. It's okay. It's... I can't make it. It's to it's everything right. I've worked so hard for. Just 
ですよ。Wow. <laughs> you like it? I mean,、uh, E for effort. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Please sit. Thank you. <clears throat> okay,、uh, so yeah, I, I want us to just have a real cozy dinner. You know what I mean? Let me start with the wine. <laughs> Then I will take your order. <laughs> did you cook this yourself? Oh yes, I did. Oh, I don't know if I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't play with me. E for effort, you said. Yeah. But trust me, it's A for effort this time around. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I know they don't make that much noise, you know. <laughs> but、uh, I like this one. You like it? Yeah. You do. I still, I still remember the things you like. You see. <laughs> so, you know, thing is, I think that I lost you. Okay. I don't want to lose you again. Yes. Broke it off with our partners. It wasn't pleasant, but can I say I'm happy? Because Dora, that day you walked into the house, I gave up on the wedding. I missed you so much. Necessarily, you know. I just want to be big with you, real quick. Thank、you